off. Now, according to a leaked draft, majority opinion circulated inside the court, reported by Politico and confirmed by the court as authentic, though by no means final, the draft opinion suggests that the court's strengthened conservative majority is ready to go even further by overturning Roe v. Wade, leaving it to individual states to decide whether abortions are allowed and in what circumstances within the United States. Essentially, if Roe is overturned, there will no longer be a nationwide constitutional right to have an abortion. Currently, more than 20 states in the US already have abortion bans or restrictions on the books, ready to take effect should Roe's protections be lifted. Now, what will happen if Roe versus Wade is overturned? Well, women living in the states where abortions are banned might need to travel lengthy distances to receive treatment in another state. That's if they can even afford to do so. A ruling overturning Roe would legally politically and socially be transformational. A majority of the US public has consistently supported keeping abortion legal in all or at least some cases since the mid 1970s. Overturning Roe could completely shake up midterm elections in the US in November that was said to be a referendum on inflation, crime, immigration and COVID-19. The court is expected to rule by July in this particular case. Now many of you may wonder, can't women still use the abortion pill? That pill, approved in 2000, has failed to take off in the US in the two decades that it has been on the market. Some two-thirds of women don't even know medication abortion exists, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation. That's likely because the US Food and Drug Administration imposed a labyrinth of restrictions on this drug, making it hard for a doctor to prescribe. These restrictions aren't in step with its safety profile. In fact, this pill sends fewer people to the emergency room than a Tylenol. Now, how common is an abortion in the US? Well, according to a 2019 report, in 2014, almost 20% pregnancies ended in abortion. At that rate, an estimated one in four US women would have an abortion over the course of their lifetime. The abortion rate, which is the number of procedures per 1,000 women of childbearing age, fell 20% between 2011 and 2017.